Hello, and welcome to the very first lesson using Alice. In this lesson, we will show you how to open Alice, choose a landscape for your new world, and add some objects into it. Finally, we'll show you how to save your project so you may return to it at a later time. On your desktop, look for the icon that looks like Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Double click on her to start the Alice software. Here you'll see the Welcome to Alice screen. At the top, there are some tabs that offer you some tutorials on how to use Alice, some examples of Alice worlds, and any recent worlds that you may have previously created. Since we have no worlds at the moment, we want to pick the Templates tab and choose a landscape to use. We'll pick Grass for ours. Double-click on Grass to choose it. Right now, our world is empty. We need to add some things to it to make it more interesting. In Alice, anything that exists in a world is called an object. This includes the grass itself, the camera that looks at the world, which you can't actually see, but it's what you use to look at the world through, and anything else that you wish to add to your world. So let us add something. Underneath the view of your world, there's a little green button labeled Add Objects. Click the button, and you will change views and be able to see a row of galleries at the bottom of your screen. Find the Ancestor Gallery and select it. Here you will see all the objects you can drag into your world. We will start by adding Aboriginal Man. Click and hold the mouse button down and drag him into your world to place him anywhere you like. A very useful tool in Alice is the Undo button. If you ever make a mistake and want to go back to before you made the mistake, just press Undo. In fact, you can press it multiple times to go back a number of steps. So always remember this is here. You will make mistakes, but don't panic. Your friend Undo is always there to help you out. Next, let us add another object. We'll now add the Aboriginal girl. Remember, if you make a mistake, press the Undo button. Great. Now we want to save our world. Click on the large Done button to finish adding objects. In the left-hand corner of the screen, click on File, then Save World As. Now choose a name for your world. We'll call ours My New World. Click Save. And that's it. We're done. We now have a world we can come back to any time we wish. So let's close Alice and try reloading our world. Rerun Alice. Hit Cancel at the Welcome to Alice screen. Choose File. Open World. Locate the file we just created. And click Open. And there it is. Our world reloaded, ready to be worked on again. In the next lesson, we shall show you how to change position and size of the objects in your world. Thanks for watching.